Hello everyone, welcome back to Drupal Academy. Today we will be exploring the attributes of form fields in a web form module. If you are a developer or someone interested in building interactive and dynamic web forms, you are in the right place. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. Now let's get started. Before we go through form field attributes, let's quickly review what the web form module is. The web form module is a powerful tool for creating forms on your website. It allows you to build custom forms with various field types, making it versatile solution for collecting user input. In last video, we had created this simple form using the web form. Now let's focus on the attributes of form fields. The attributes we will cover includes require making a field mandatory for users. Second is the placeholder. Adding placeholder text for better user guidance. Another is the size and the max length minimum length. Controlling the length of user input and we will check the this validation patterns as well. I will demonstrate this attribute using practical examples. We will go through each attribute showing you how to implement them within the web form. I will provide step by step instruction so you can follow along easily. So first I will explain you about the description help and more. Now we will add these attributes to the first name field. So I will add this is description attribute. Next is the help. So whenever user four on this question mark, it will show the help text. So we'll add the help title attribute. Next is the help text. We will add the help text attribute. Next is a more. If you want to give the link where user can click on that link and see the more details of, about your field, you can add more title attribute. and this is the more text we will add it as a multiple lines now save this field again go to the our form by clicking on this view link so here you can see so this is the description value which we have added in the description field attribute of this first name field. Next is the more title attribute. So this is the more title attribute. And when we click on this, it will expand and will show the other details which we have added in the more text. Another field is a help title. So help title attribute you can see here. The help title attribute comes here and the help text which we have added in the help text field that comes just below the help title attribute. Now we will check the another attribute that is the form display or attribute. Suppose if you want to display this title and the field on the same line, in that case you can change the title display to inline. I can save this, refresh the form. So here you can see now the title and the text field are on the same line and here rest are on the different line. So using the Inline, you can set the title and the text field on the same line. 
same way for the description as well you can set the description in line before after invisible or tooltip so next is the after i will set it as a now after we can see that by refreshing this page the text field will come first and the title comes next after the field next attribute is invisible if you select this as invisible the title will not be visible to the end users save it again refresh the page so here you can see the title is not visible for this field now again we will change it to the default same same way you can add these properties to the display description or the help text next is the field prefix and the field suffix if you want to add anything before and after the field you can add that here suppose i will add uh, hello world hello world will come before the that text field and the world will come after the text field save it refresh the form so here you can see hello and the word these are the prefix and suffix we have added in the field attribute next we will add the max and the minimum length i will require minimum two characters and maximum 10 characters for this field again save it refresh the form suppose if i add just one character and try to save this form it will give the error please add the minimum two characters for this field so here you can see now the error message is not applied to this field because we have added the required minimum two characters next we will check the size attribute we will remove this minimum and max length. so right now you can see the size of this text field is by default 60 characters now we will change it to the 30 characters again save it go to the form and refresh so here you can see the size is reduced to the 30 characters for this text field now the next attribute is placeholder so you can add the placeholder from here enter first name save it So you will get the placeholder inside the this field by saying enter first name next is the input mask suppose uh, if you want to accept the certain type of data in your field so i will show you suppose i have first I, I want to accept the name like first three will be the characters so here they have mentioned for the characters you can mention it as alphabets so i will add the 3a for the characters after that i want hyphen again after that i want three characters and after that i want two numbers so save it you can go to the form So you can see we, we will get the input mask in this pattern now i will try to enter the numbers it is not accepting the numbers now i will try to add the characters so it is not accepting the characters 
and in the input mask we have set we want first three characters after that hyphen and again three characters after that hyphen and the last two will be the numbers so now i will add the characters again it is not accepting characters now i will add the numbers so it it is accepting the numbers so this is about the input mask custom mask and if you can select the any input mask which was provided by the web forms suppose we will set it as uppercase now it will accept the uppercase characters only so here you can see it is automatically showing the characters in the uppercase now the next attribute is hide input you can hide this uh, field if you select set this as a input hiding and uh, disable so you can make this field as a non editable by setting this as a disable read only make this element non editable with the user enter value submitted so you can set the default values in the read only so this pre populate this will allow element to populate using query string parameters if i check this as a pre populate save it and go and check the name of this field by inspecting it its name is first underscore name in the query parameter add this name and add some value demo and enter so it will automatically assign this value from the query parameter to the this field now the last attributes are required so you can make this field as a required and enter the message what you want for the required field so we add the message please enter first name save it now here you can see there is no star i will refresh we have make this field as a required it is showing the star and we'll try to submit this form so we are getting the message please enter the first name next attribute is a pattern we will see that pattern how can we add the custom validations using the regular expression so i will add the pattern and in that pattern i will add regular expression to accept just capital a to z alphabets small a to z star and the dollar so you can check this regular expressions on the this website rubular.com paste your regular expression here and you can test those things now here i am adding the alphabets the matches it's okay now i will add the some numbers so it is showing them no matches i will save this and pattern if you want to add any pattern error message you can add please enter alphabets only and i will cover this one as well in the counter we can set the characters so it will start from the and the 10 characters and save it and refresh the form now i will try to enter the numbers and we'll try to submit this form it is showing the message please enter the alphabets because we have added the this regular expression to accept the just characters or alphabets and second is the this counter we have added the counter so it will start when insert the first character and it will show me the how many characters are remaining so we have set it from 1 to 10 so it will say like 
now nine characters are remaining and same way if i add the other characters it will decrease the count to zero and if you want to change this message you can change it they have given some pattern for the percent d means then it will show the numbers so i will add the percent d characters are pending i will change remaining with the pending so we can overwrite the this existing message now here you can see it is showing the characters remaining replace this form and again type here you can see the it is showing the characters are pending now so that wraps up our exploration of web form module form fields attributes i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you have any question or topics you would like us to cover in a future videos leave a comment below don't forget to like a video if you found it useful and subscribe for more content thank you for watching